Hello everyone, this is Shalu Kumar again from ONTC. I'm an experienced OSCE nurse trainer for the NMC OSCE exam in UK and also the lead trainer for OSCE nurse training Cambridge. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do wound assessment using a picture of a wound okay because that's what you get in your exam you get given a picture so this is a worked out example for you worked out station for you to use a picture and how to apply the marking criteria for wound assessment and assess a wound so if you like my videos please press the like button now and subscribe to my channel it just uh, gives me a lot of positivity to keep making more videos for you okay so let's talk about today's station I have already done uh, a wound assessment station video already for you. So that's a quite comprehensive videos. So if you haven't watched that, please go and watch that one first. And then you can understand the marking criteria better. And then we then in today's video, I'm going to show you how to apply the marking criteria to a picture of a wound and carry out the wound assessment. Because in your exam, you will be given a picture of the wound. So it might be attached to your mannequin, the picture, and you're going to do the wound assessment from the picture or from if they have got a wound on the mannequin then you do it from the mannequin but normally it is a picture so as you can see on your screen it's a six minute station and you are normally given a picture to do a wound assessment okay so next i have put down the marking criteria for you just as a quick revision like i said i've already done a wound assessment video so please go and watch that one but this is just i put again to remind you what is the marking criteria so we're going to be very systematic and look through certain things in wounds like arrhythmia any discharge uh, number of sutures floor of the wound pain and tenderness and then verbalize our actions at the end so that's what your marking criteria is so okay so so just imagine now I've got a picture given by my examiner of this wound so I've been asked to do my wound assessment in six minutes so I will obviously uh, you know uh, do the scene safety close the curtain clean my hand take my patient explain the procedure to my patient take consent uh, and then also ask my patient if they are in any pain because I want to not get started with wound assessment if my patient is already in lot of pain so I will just do a quick pain assessment using pain tool in the beginning then I've got clean hands so I'm going to just carry on with verbalizing my wound assessment now so I will just start my wound assessment the first thing I will look at is arrhythmia which is the redness so does the wound look red on this wound yes it's definitely is looking red it's looking inflamed so I would say yes this wound is looking red there is a redness there there is some inflammation on the surrounding skin and also there is some swelling present in the surrounding skin okay so we move on to the next Next thing now we're going to look if there is any discharge uh, means picture is not very clear uh, as to in regards to discharge but if you zoom in you can see there is some old um, uh, yellow crust there so it might be just a old dry discharge okay so you will say there is a small indication that there is some dry exudate there uh, but if assessor if I was in the real scenario with the real patient I will be looking for the discharge I will be uh, looking if it's watery, if it's thin, if it's thick, is a yellow in color, is a green in color because that might indicate infection and also I will be also looking for the smell of the discharge, okay. So regardless whether you see it or not on the wound, you still need to talk about the discharge. Then we're going to move on to looking at the suture. So I can see this wound has 12 sutures. They are all intact. None of the sutures are loose at the moment or coming out, okay? So next we're going to move on to the floor of the wound. So floor of the wound, looks okay at the moment the two edges are together so they are uh, at the moment there is no significant gap or anything in the edges and the edges are together and then i have already done quick pain assessment in the beginning so i can just to talk to my patient again that I will uh, that I acknowledge that if my patient is in pain I will um, uh, bring some pain relief as soon as possible if there is any pain or tenderness so ask your patient about that normally it's mannequin but examiner will answer on the mannequin's behalf and then now we know looking at this wound it is showing some signs of early infection uh, some early signs of infection so we're going to verbalize the actions so i will say i will take a wound swab i will send it to the pathology and then i will also refer the patient to medical team and also if the wound swab comes back positive i can refer the patient to tissue viability team 
I will uh, and then next thing will be I will document everything accurately about this wound assessment in patient notes and then do your final hand hygiene and reassure your patient and that would be the end of the station. So my top tips like I said the, uh, the marking criteria is self-explanatory. So my top tip will be just learn your marking criteria, understand it eh, uh, and know what's been asked, what elements to put in your wound assessment. My second top tip will be the six minute is quite short so do practice this station with a timer my third top tip will be very clear in your verbalization examiner need to see that you are doing systematic and clear assessment so be very clear in verbalizing tip number four will be uh, just making sure even if your wound doesn't have discharge or anything like that or arrhythmia or anything but you're still saying that I am looking for arrhythmia I am looking for discharge and when you're looking for discharge you're looking for the color consistency and things like that regardless whether your picture has a or not you would say in the real wound that these are the things i will be looking for uh, you know and that sutures and if there any of them are intact or loose or floor of the wound are edges together so doesn't matter what you see on the picture of course you need to do your assessment according to picture but also if it doesn't show you clearly but you still need to verbalize everything okay so i hope you find this day uh, this video useful if you do please press the uh, press the like button now and subscribe to my channel you can also visit us on oskinas uh, training.com we provide full face to face uh, and uh, online and training and also module training like if you just want to do a pie or you just want to do your skills so i will soon be back with another video for you okay bye for now